I finally found another one, so we're finally going to cover it. Mars Converters Jet Fighter, today on Girl Reviews. This, I finally managed to get a hold of the companion to the to that tank, right? To a combat tank here. There, the uh, jet fighter. And, well, I can... There's definitely some interesting parts to him, like that helmet there. Let's see, I'll get a close-up look at it. That's rather cyber jetty now, isn't it? A little more advanced, but still not bad. If that excites you. Now, bringing up uh, the elephant in the room here. Yeah, those shoulders, they look a little off, don't they? Or at least they would, except the picture shows the same thing. All the pictures of him show the same thing with those shoulders. So it's looking like that's how they're actually supposed to go. If I can adjust it, I can, but we'll see what we can do. As always, we'll take a look at the packaging. Actually, we'll get it out of the packaging and we'll go from there. Now, as many of you have pointed out, a lot of the automobile conversions have the button to release the head. Do the way this thing transforms, it doesn't have it. So yes, I am looking for it. Stop telling me. Anyway. So far so good. Okay. Them some big old feet. But at least he can stand, hopefully. Yeah, okay. There we go, out of the box. Hey, what the instructions? Sorry in good shape so far. And uh, I kind of get away. People uh, may not find this one very popular. Because these shoulders, they really aren't adjustable. You have these swivels, which are nice, but they're kind of permanently in this position. You can't really adjust them any other way. Now the uh, elbows, they would be worth something, except it's permanently in the arm curl position. So, uh, you can do that, if that excites you. So now as for the rest of the articulation head, uh, ooh, yeah. Doesn't look like you're gonna get anything out of the head there. Primarily well, because that's pretty much blocked. If you, Oh, okay, yeah. Here's something creaking that's the sign to stop. Okay, nothing for the waist. It's, you know, arms, it's, you know, hinge that goes outward. But it takes the shoulder with it. Rotation on the shoulder popper, up and down. Double, uh, it's, you know, hinge joint and a mushroom peg for the elbow. And the hands can move inward. Or can you at least get a decent... Okay, so you can at least get a flight pose out of them. So that's something. Okay, nothing for the hips. Ball joints for the... Uh, shin, for the legs. So your knees have a competent bend. And let's see here. And you can move the... Tilt the feet forward. But it that's mostly for due to transformation. So there is some... Rather limited posability and apparently it's a little shaky. But hey, for 11 bucks, you can get a lot worse. Okay, now speaking of cyber jets, yeah, those are some, uh, definitely some esoteric colors going on there. You don't normally see red on a jet, at least yeah, realistically, so that's some, definitely a choice <laughs> and the electric blue is also curious but it does break up the gray with all two tones of it but there is some black paint but that's just fairly standard <clears throat> okay on the transformation here we'll start by what we're supposed to be doing is taking this apart okay so it goes that you move both the back apart then Is there a way to pull this? No, not really. 
Okay, so the head just kind of chills out there while you put the cockpit in like that. Pull in the hands. So now then you fold in these bits. <clears throat> okay, that pulled them in like this. Okay. Then they're just kind of chill out under here. It looks like you fold a few slots back together, fold down these wings, then you connect the legs together. Uh, fold up the feet, fold down the uh, heels, then you connect all this, hopefully. <clears throat> there we go. Pull out the fins and let's see. Okay, there we go. Jet mode. Okay, so apparently you're supposed to fold in the uh, forearms a little in deeper, but uh, that whether or not that actually helps is debatable. But it does at least look a touch more cohesive. There we go. Get that excited you. And here in jet mode, well, it does look a little uh, scrunched down. But it is at least a decent looking jet mode. Now, according to the uh, tempo graphing here, it said F52. I kind of got that. <laughs> Maybe an F. 22 stylized and perhaps a little bit chibi-ified but it is solid so if you want to whoosh around you certainly can no action features no accessories no weapons but again when have these ever actually had weapons or accessories exactly and trust me I'm the guy who apparently covers these things so I would notice now, in my years of reviewing these, I have tried to give these an even shake. Some better than others. Uh, but this one is a little more problematic than some of the other ones. It's somewhat limited and a bit gappy. But so are some Transformers toys I reviewed, so I can't hold that against it. And this, this is tends to be more available than some of the more mo recent stuff due to global distribution issues so if you're looking for s something to just play around with that you're not going to worry about breaking or if you just or if you do collect these you have a spot for uh, the single jet in this line it's ready and waiting for you Anyway, I am Dennis Wolf. This has been Mars Converters Jet Fighter. Get in mind you all. Free of mind, free of toys.